The cut, perfect. The drape, exquisite. The look, exclusive. The price anywhere between 5,000 and 50,000 rupees. Whether it is Chanel as a perfume, Cartier on the wrist, it is a designer Ghagra Choli, a Rohit Khosla or a Jashn as a dress. In less than half a decade, a few Indian designers have created a niche for Indian high fashion. It all began in 1987, when Tarun Tahiliani opened Ensemble, a designer garment outlet giving the industry its first platform. Since then, four designers have been at the helm of high fashion. 28 years old Shab Durazi graduated from BCom at Sydenham College to designing in New York. He returned in 1988, producing purely Western style garments. He does not believe in alteration and goes for the simple tailored look. Abu Jani and Sandeep Khosla reintroduced the crush. They work with voluminous fabrics and with very ethnic styles. Better known by their earlier label, Jashn, they form a volatile combination. With impressive credentials like a degree from the Kingston School of Fashion England and work experience under the likes of Claude Montana and Alfred Nippon, who can believe that Rohit Khosla's earliest influences were Jamini Roy and Wahida Rahman? Rohit Bal has no formal training and also does men's wear. Working on the cut and colour of the ageless Bangala, he has brought it back into vogue. His styles are as forthright as his personality. High fashion is still a small industry, but it is booming and with markups between 100 and 200 percent, boutiques are springing up all over the country, grossing over 200 to 400,000 rupees monthly. The mood in the industry is optimistic as we witness this creative chemistry between the designer and his clients. Indian fashion industry has no way to go but up. <laughs>